On Cinco de Mayo, it was CP Oh My No from Thunder fans as Oklahoma City hosted the LA Clippers in game one of the second round playoff series on Monday night. The former Oklahoma City Hornets point guard returned to eviscerate the home team. Thunder actually led 16-10 five minutes in. But the Clippers came out on a 24-10 run led by 17 first quarter points from Chris Paul. He also had a career high five three-pointers in the first quarter. He finished eight of nine from beyond the arc, 12 of 14 from the field with a game high 32 points, 10 assists, Blake Griffin added 23 points, and while Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook actually shot relatively well, KD hit 9 of 19 for 25 points, Westbrook 9 of 14 shots for 29 points, the Thunder was really never in this game, as the Clippers shot 55% from the floor and nearly 52% from beyond the arc. Clippers turned the ball over only nine times, while the Thunder has 18 turnovers, and Oklahoma City falls, and falls hard, 122-105, now trails the series one game to zero. It's definitely a different different series, different team, different uh, style of play. We have to we have to flip flip the page uh, quickly. This is a fast team. This is a team that gets out in transition. This is a team that has bigs that can roll and can finish way above the rim. This is a team that shoots threes and we have to be able to cover it all. If um, we have to play much better. We have to figure out how to how to how to be able to contain all of it because you have to do that against this team. We didn't come out uh, nonchalant. We came out aggressive. They hit shots on us, and they uh, they kind of loosened our defense up. When a guy has, you know, five or six threes in a row, you know, you don't want to give up no more. So, you know, that's when they started to get some stuff in the paint. But, you know, our effort, you know, was there. Um, you know, we had good intentions, but they, you know, they got hot. So we got to we got to correct it. We got to make a miss next game, and um, be a little bit more physical. I mean, it's not Chris Paul versus the Thunder. It's the Clippers versus the Thunder. Um, you know, here's some big shots. Some other guys hit some shots on their team. Like Kevin said, we, we did a good job of sticking to our principles. They just hit some tough shots. Well, not much went right for us. Defensively, we were uh, really bad. Uh, they, they went wherever they wanted to go. They got any shot they wanted. So I think that'll be a huge focus. Uh, offensively, we can play better too. Uh, but but I think defensively is where we got to um, – where we got to start and we got to be a better team. You have to give them credit for coming in and, you know, playing the way they played today. They shot the ball well. Uh, you know, we definitely made some mistakes on the defensive end. But, uh, you know, we can be better and we'll be better. Uh, and so, you know, we, we just have to move on to the next one right now and not, uh, you know, spend too much time overanalyzing what happened tonight. A loss is a loss, man. It's just... It's tough to tough to swallow, especially on your home floor in the playoffs. But a quick turnaround, you know, we, we got a, a day in between and we play again on Wednesday. So that's the best part about it, just knowing that the games come so quickly. And but a loss is a loss. It's tough to uh, it's tough to you know play that way, especially on our home floor, getting booed by our fans. We never want to never want to do that, but uh, we always learn from it and uh, move forward and get better from it. The, the, the key is you have to find the guys. You know, there's openings on every team, on our defense. And tonight we just had one of those nights where the ball found the open guy every single time. And then the second part is you got to make it. And we did that too. So we just had one of those nights. Chris, eight and nine three-point shooting. Is that ranked near the yeah, best that's shooting what I do. of your life? that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lie. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just one of those nights. I promise you, this has got to be a career high for makes and attempts. But uh, I don't know. This one will definitely go down in the uh, history books for me. Don't don't count on it for game two, I'll tell you that. When somebody's got it going like that, you just want to try to stay out of the way as much as possible, and but also you know help, help keep that fire going. And, and um, like you said, I mean, the first quarter was, was crazy. So I, we were just trying to to spring him, get him open. Um, but then really you know, in the second half, we we were moving the ball so well. Um, and, and it all really started for us defensively. But I mean, really just tried to, tried to stay out of his way, let him do what he was doing. So after a very forgettable game, Oklahoma City will try to turn the page and turn the page quickly, starting with some very happy news as Kevin Durant is named the MVP for the first time in his career on Tuesday afternoon. He will then be presented with the MVP trophy on Wednesday night during game two in front of 18,203 of his closest friends. One aspect of the Thunder that needs to become more valuable in game two is Oklahoma City's bench. 
Ron Butler and Reggie Jackson contributed nothing offensively with the game on the line. Meanwhile, Jamal Crawford on the Clippers bench scored 17 points. Game 2, 8.30 Wednesday night, once again in Oklahoma City. Reporting from Chesapeake Energy Arena, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.